Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset Microsoft PowerPoint back to default settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would recommend doing would be open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And then go down and locate office and double click on it. Now you want to locate a higher number version in here. So in our case, it's 16.0. In a lot of cases, it will be 16.0. I think the latest few versions of Office have been 16.0. And what you want to do is just right click on the PowerPoint folder and select Delete. This will delete any modifications of PowerPoint to so make sure you have any PowerPoint files saved, you know, backed up. It shouldn't delete your Documents folder, you know, but um, anyway, you always want to, you know, be kind of mindful of that. But anyway, it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of the sub keys? Select yes. And then once you're done with that, you will need to close out of the registry editor and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And now if we went ahead and opened up PowerPoint, just want to show you guys that it still works, you know, of course, but just like to show it. And that's about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do apologize for the help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.